Hey, it's Joseph here. I have an interesting product here. It's a relatively small box. Could be easily mistaken as a laptop, but it is not. It is Asus ProArt, ProArt Display PA148CTV. I guess I'll put that in the title, but it is an Asus ProArt series monitor portable monitor to be specific. And looking around the box, there is ProArt display, 14 inch, and the model number again. And on this side, it shows some of the icons for the features, IPS technology, 100% Rec. 709 sRGB, and then color accuracy, Delta E less than two, and then ProArt preset, Color, I don't know what that means. Six axis of color adjustment, USB-C, HDMI, and then fingers. I'm assuming that's sort of a touch screen perhaps. And control panel, and then brightness, it tilts, and then three year warranty. So those are kind of like the features of this monitor. So let's get it unboxed, and then we can talk about a bit more. And by the way, Asus has sent me this product for me to do showcase video like this and I'll be returning it after this video. I guess this is for charging. And here's a charger out of the big box, USB type A port. And then the wattage is either 10 watts or 18 watts. Okay, so let's put that aside. And then here's another one. Perhaps open it like this so you guys could see it. So here's some paperwork, quick start guide of some kind. You can tilt it or 10 point touch and then the menu is available. You can connect either via micro HDMI or USB type C. And this is a color calibration testing report. So all of these monitors are individually calibrated, which is a known fact for all the Pro Art series. So those are meant for color work and they're known for color accuracy. So it is pretty much expected to bring you high accuracy color that is suitable for professional work and here's a nice carrying case I do want to at least open it and feel it so let's do that it is a nice synthetic leather and I do want to use it so here is a pocket and I guess another pocket for cables and chargers of some kind and then the cables first one is USB type C to USB type A port so I guess you just pair that up or power the monitor and then the other cable is full size HDMI on one end and on the other is micro HDMI. These are actually kind of hard to come by. Micro HDMI is not really common and I don't really prefer it since it is so small and it is so easy to disconnect. But that is what's available with this monitor. I guess you could connect it via USB-C to USB-C and that is what this cable is, USB Type-C to USB Type-C. Okay, let me put that aside as well. And then here is a bit of paperwork. ProArt, welcome to ASUS ProArt family. Kalman verified, feeling real premium. Now you can just put that on your frame on the wall. And here is a USB type A dongle. Interesting, I probably won't need this, so I'll just leave it in a package, but understand that this comes with your purchase. And then here is the actual monitor. Wow, really light and thin is my first impression of this monitor. This is how thin it is. It's quite light as well. And the screen itself is a little bit messy, and I'm assuming that is because this was a review unit and a lot of people have touched and did not clean it or bothered to clean it. I'm going to do a favor of, Asus. of cleaning this for them. And when you get your unit, it wouldn't be this dirty. And because this is a touch screen, you're going to be touching it and making it dirty yourself. Okay, so let's have a look at the monitor itself. So diagonally, it is 14 inches confirmed and then on top nothing and then moving on to this side there is a dial of some sort nice and there's a button as well 
I wonder if that is for menu and power stuff. And then here is micro HDMI. And then here is USB type C and then another USB type C. And then there's a notch for the kickstand, I think. And then moving on to the bottom of the screen, there is rubberized feet, which is nice. And then this is something unexpected, which is quarter 20 camera mount. So if you have a tripod of some sort, you can just mount it nice. I'll test that actually. And then moving on to the other side, nothing other than some sort of perforated grill. I'm assuming that is for the speaker. And the other side is the same, the perforation is there. So I guess that is for a speaker. And on the back, you can see that this is Asus logo, subtle, and then the dial here, up, down, left, and right as well. And you can click on the center too. Can you hear that? Very tactile, I like that. And then the kickstand. The kickstand has a little shape to the side, so you can, I suppose you can just open it from this side. This is kind of like Surface Pro type of kickstand. You can't really open it here, but there is a little notch on the side where you can just open it from. And the hinge is very well made. It feels similar to Surface Pro if you guys are aware what that is like. The hinge is a little bit more clumsier. There's a bit of a sound to it. It does feel quite nice and you can easily angle this. I'm so used to this motion because of the Surface Pro. So you can either go really flat like that. I mean, you can have it completely flat like that, but that's not so nice for either using the touch screen or trying to see the screen because flat, completely flat wouldn't work. I'm trying to use my right hand to open this and proving that it doesn't work because there's no notch on this side. It's kind of weird that you don't have it on the right hand. So you gotta use your left hand to open it. You can open it a little bit and have it stand like so. And then also lean it more or all the way down like this so that it is quite flat. So that is very convenient. I like that. And then when you're trying to pack it away, I suppose you can just put it in this cover so that everything is protected and you're not dirtying the product. Perhaps I would put the screen inside and the dial outside so perhaps this way is if you put a lot of pressure on a dial it wouldn't be as nice but you can put this in it's quite snug maybe that's a good thing and then yeah magnetically like that this kind of looks like a laptop sleeve but it is a monitor and it's quite light too I did say I'm gonna test out the quarter 20 thread didn't I so here is a mini tripod of some sort. If you have a bigger stand, you could use that, but here's what you can just thread that into and then just open it up and expect to work. There you go, you can do that, nice. And if you're inclined to do so, you can get a tripod like this where it has quarter 20 male thread on top for the sake of showing the tripod unthread the monitor this feels weird spin it around you got yourself a monitor that's sitting on a stand let's do the rest of the testing this way okay so how do i drive this monitor well you've got to have something that pushes signal and it could be the no other brand Asus. laptop that has two screens it's really cool so when you turn this on it's gonna have two screens for you. And now I have the third one. Let's use the included USB-C cable over here on the laptop and then the other end onto the monitor. And just wait, there it is. So on the laptop, I've got two screens and then the third one and it is significantly brighter. And this is a little bit wobbly since it's standing on a standing pad. So actually let me have it stand correctly with its own feet. And then actually reorder this. So move the laptop to this side and then have the screen here and then connect to each other with one cable. Show you what's going on. And it is sort of a matte finish, so it is not completely reflective as you can see, but it is significantly brighter. Let me see if there is a way to adjust the brightness. And because this is IPS, even if you look at it from the side, the colors maintain quite well. 
and there's a dial. Let me just press on it to see what happens. Okay, so I just click on it to navigate through. So I just need it to be standard mode, RGB mode, Rec 709 mode, DCI-P3 mode, scenery mode, reading mode, darkroom mode. Let's go sRGB is what I typically use or try to use. And then go to brightness control. This is 100%. So let's change that to slightly lesser. So here you go less and less. Here it kind of matches with 80%. Okay, so that's looking good. And there's other things that you can control such as hue, saturation, contrast, color temp, all those usual things, sharpness. You can change the volume and then also change the touch screen. So normally you can just use it so that this is totally of a three screen setup. It would be kind of overkill, I would think. But what I was intending to use this monitor for was actually for presentation purposes. So I can carry this monitor around and then when I'm trying to do some sort of presentation, I can just use a laptop to drive it and then have a screen shown to my client. So instead of the extension duplicate so that you see what I'm doing over here. And also because this is touch screen, all the touch functionality will be there. And here I can go to my website, maximize the screen, and then I can just kind of showcase certain things I've done have the camera focus. So hey, here is the project that I have worked on. And these are the things that you can do with it. And if you want, you can actually touch to control as well. So this is what's really nice. So hey, here are the things that I can do for you. And then here are panoramic views that are available. So if I click on it, we can look at the panoramic view together. I can also look up and down as well. So we can go to different areas like this, talk about different type of designs and things that I can do with it. Or let's go ahead and look at some of my videos and test out the speaker capabilities. Here is a fun video that I've done with my kids. In the garage, whenever I have something very big, a chair, I had a lovely assistant, my daughter with me. So perhaps not the best sounding speaker, but speaker is there. So you can play videos with it and you'll be able to hear different things. But I thought it would be kind of cool use case scenario. You can just sit across the table like this and then you can just connect to your laptop for presentation purposes. You can open up your model and then just walk them through the model and explain those things. And you can do that in a small room like this where you don't have a large presentation screen around. So yeah, I think it would be a cool use case scenario. And before I go, let's do a quick web search and do a presentation to you of this monitor. So this is Asus website, ProArt Display PA148CTW, portable professional monitor. So it is a 14 inch screen and then different type of use cases where you're using it as control panel to do color work or Photoshop, that sort of thing. And then built for creators, photographer who can kind of monitor things and do different type of editing on it or video editor or graphic designer and then it's color accurate experience full color and then it is calibrated which is what I kind of demonstrated and you can expand your display this way and there's a nice carrying case as I have explained and there's a dial that you can use to change settings like that and also a control panel so you can use a touch functionality to use it as a control panel, which I think is very cool for certain software such as Photoshop, Lightroom, and Premiere and Adobe After Effects. This product is $400. Definitely not cheap, but it is portable. That is something for you to think about. So if you find this monitor to be usable for your own workflow, please use the link in the description. I hope you have enjoyed this content. And if you did, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of coverage videos. And thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye.